Hello, my marvellous sausages. Now, I thought I'd give you some tips on this week's EXO challenge. Now, you can access them from the main map type doodah. Now, one thing you need to think of before you actually pile on in, once you complete it, you'll get a powerful reward. However, there is a way to get a pinnacle reward, just in case you're not too sure. Go and see Varix and have a look in the sabotage section of his screen. And uh, one of the buffs that you can buy is the European Explorer. Now, what you're looking for is number three, which converts the reward for the exo challenge from a powerful reward into a pinnacle reward bloody well worth doing so make sure you do that before you start this one is called safeguard and it's kind of like protecting territory now you've got three stations one in the middle one on the left and one on the right and what happens is you get waves of vex now if they come up off the main floor area and up onto the pedestals then it starts to drop down the percentage it's almost like they're capturing the area and once the area drops down from 100% down to nothing, of course, I said, you're buggered and you've got to start again. Now, if you do notice your percentage rate going down quite drastically, don't panic because once you clear them off the platform, then it'll start to regenerate and you'll get that percentage points back. So don't stress too much about that. They come in four waves and you've got a wave starting on the left, then it goes to the right, then it goes to the left again, and then it goes to the right. At least that's what it's been in my experience. The thing to concentrate the most on are the Darth chickens, you know, the wyverns who strut around and turn into a spear and shove it up your rectum. Now, you've got to be really careful with those guys because they can just take you out in one bang. And then, of course, you're going to have to restart the mission. Now, in the earlier waves, I found it easy enough to run around outside of the ziggurat, that means the platform area, and take them out on the big flat bit so you can see where they're actually coming from. Now, weapons-wise, you want something that deals damage over an area of effect, really, because you're going to so many targets and if you've got something which relies on one target at a time you're going to be fine you're going to be aiming 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 and it's going to build the panic up a little bit so what i viewed is my trusty trinity ghoul of course which spreads the electric love you could also use a risk runner as well but anything that you think is a good room clearer i didn't really use my primary at all except from accidentally switching to it as for a heavy weapon i used my falling guillotine because that's essential for chopping the legs of the Darth Sodden chickens. As for supers, you can see I've got my arc on here, which is probably not a very good choice. The roaming arc might be a bit better, but personally, if you're going to use one, I'd recommend stasis because you're going to be able to freeze your targets on the spot and take them out and alleviate the slight panic that you'll be feeling. Now, if you do feel that you're being overwhelmed and you can see a percentage dropping, remember you can shoot one of the floating Vex cubes in the sky. And what that effectively does is electrify them and freezes them to the spot so then you can administer kickings while they quiver and shit their pants. Now the latter of the waves when it gets to the third and the fourth wave does seem to be a little bit more overwhelming so I found that shooting from the ziggurat was the best place to be because you could afford yourself some cover and take pot shots at them. The Darth chickens really run up very very quickly and you'll find them standing on the platform pretty damn quickly too so get a fallen guillotine or your your sword of choice and destroy them a few chops on the legs and they're gone let me know if the lament sorts them out within 10 seconds because i still haven't got my lament yet i haven't got round to it so once you've got used to it and you know the pattern this first part of the exo challenge is relatively easy you're going to the left you're going to the right you're going to the left and you're going to the right again now then once you've completed that part the boss turns up now he's straight in the center he comes from the gate in the center it's a massive vex minotaur again and what you're also going to have is waves again of vex and darth chickens now the same mechanic is going to apply except they're going to be advancing from the entire entirety of the map so each of your platforms could be invaded so you've got to keep on your toes for this one now when you kill the boss that will effectively end the challenge and you've completed it but you've got to juggle that with keeping your percentile up so make sure you, you use the vex boxes to freeze them to the spot don't worry about them coming onto the platforms like i say i found myself jumping in between platforms and chopping darth chicken's legs off until they died and then taking as many pot shots as i could to the uh, main gate lord enemy who does seem to stay quite a way off so you're going to look for some kind of long range attack and this is where my chaos reach did come in very handy actually for taking him out from a distance but you of course can use any power weapon that administers kickings from far away 
At one point, it's about halfway through the match, you're going to get two Cyclopses appear up on each pedestal, and they'll take pot shots at you too. That's a bit of a swine, but don't worry, just take them out pretty quickly. But they do intend to give you a bit of a kick in if you don't notice them. You do have Braytech robot type fellows standing there with you as well. You may have already seen them. Now they're good for taking out the little peewee goblins. But of course they're not very good at administering kick-ins for the big boys. I would recommend keeping your attention on the Darth chickens and on the Cyclopses. And of course dishing out as much as you can to the Minotaur. And there you go. You'll eventually kick his face in. And of course, as your power grows, you'll be kicking them heads in much, much more quickly. I had a rather lovely reward for this, for my pinnacle reward. It was a Karnstein armlet coming in at 12.41, which is quite a jump for me because I was only on 12.36, so that was bloody marvellous. So as well as your pinnacle and powerful reward, you're going to be able to complete the triumph that comes along with this too for the EXO challenges. Now, if you've completed all three, you will get this Braytech terminal type thing, which you can stick in your porta potty in Beyond. And isn't it very dashing and pretty? I really love our porta potty and beyond. It's marvelous. We get to stick trophies from our victories in here, which is something brand new to Destiny. Well, anyway, a like, a subscribe, and a comment would be so fantastic to help boost the channel to get more eyeballs and gums flapping about it. Thank you so much for watching, and I shall see you all again very, very soon. Sausage out.